Hello, I thought today I will show you the preposition box. The preposition box is a natural progression from the adjective box, which I did in one of my previous, um, previous uh, videos, as well as the verb box, which points out what the verb is. This one points out what a preposition is. Uh, there's also activity cards, which are really cool and good fun. For example, one would be um, rise and walk from your place to the window, and so on, so on. So again, the child's acting it out, which is great fun, and not just a boring underlining in purple what's a preposition. Very important. Have fun with this. So, we're not doing that. We're having different fun. There's different boxes. Each box looks at a different problematic of a preposition, and today... We're going to have a look at this box. So come on, come and join me and let us have a look at this preposition box. Take a seat next to me. Let me just move this around. Preposition. There we are. Here's the box. Today we're looking at a preposition. So let's have some fun with this. This box we will look at today. Please go ahead, open it and put the cards into the spaces where they belong. Right, thank you. So I see we have a sentence here. Um, please read the sentence to me. And once you've read it, place the cards that construct the sentence in front of the box. Thank you. Place the blue cone near the pink cube. Play. The blue cone Near near the pink pink adjective cube noun place the blue cone near the pink cube. Yeah, I can see. So, let's see what this sentence. Place the blue cone, the pink cube. So would that sentence make sense? Would you, would you be able to know what to do with the blue cone and the pink cube? Because there's a place, the blue cone, the pink cube. Yes, but I wouldn't know how I would put it there. Maybe on top, underneath, I don't see the relation of those two. Place the blue cone and the pink cube. Again, we're going to place both of them somewhere, or does it just doesn't make sense like that? I, I'm going to put this back in here. Near. Near. Place the blue cone near the pink cube. 
Right, so let's move the sentence around a little bit, shall we? Because it's here that... Cone blue, the plate's cube, near pink, near. Cone blue, the plate's cube, the, the pink, near. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. Um, I want to make a funny sentence as well for a little bit. This, 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 this. There we are. Pink cube, the, the cone blue place near. <laughs> doesn't make sense either. No, it doesn't make sense. No. You think we can make the sentence how it was here? So it makes sense again? <coughs> yes, let's do that. Plates. Plates, place is the right verb. The, the article in brown. Blue is the adjective that goes with cone near. Uh, yeah, the cone is the noun. Near, near the preposition, our new word. The pink cube. The pink cube. Place the blue cone near the pink cube. I like that. Well, I like that and I would like to see you do it because we do have a blue cone and we do have a pink cube in this place as well, haven't we? So, go ahead. Place the blue cone near the pink cube. Yes, I'm going to do it. I'll take this cone and there's the pink cube near. Mm, this is near. No, I take that near. See, it's very near. It's not touching. It's near the cube. That's my interpretation of the blue cone near the pink cube. Mm -hmm. I like that. So, I want to make another sentence. See, and that's basically how it goes with Montessori materials. The child will um, enjoy, have fun. Um, we'll be acting out the different grammatical problems and the different grammatical um, situations we are doing with these grammar boxes. So from here, the child will be moving on to the adverb box, showing the adverb and looking at the problem, so to say, of what's an adverb. I hope you enjoyed this and you will have fun doing this kind of a grammar lesson with the kids.